The next drill, double arm backstroke, is one of my favorite drills. It just allows you to have the perfect setup, the per perfect catch and body position. Because you don't really have to mess with the rotation yet. So double arm backstroke, your thumbs are going to come out of the water, your hands are going to stay shoulder width apart, all the way to the entry, and then it's going to be a little wider than shoulder width apart with our pinkies entering the water. And then at that point, on our pull, our pull is only going to be about six, maybe eight inches under the water. And we're going to finger paint the sidewalk. Our hands are just going to have fingertips pointing towards the wall the entire way. And just pretend you're, you're stroking the wall or lane line. Just make sure those fingertips are pointing to the side all the way. So you don't really want them up or down or any other S motions. So here's double arm backstroke. Double arm backstroke, my favorite drill. It's because it allows the perfect hand position. Since you're flat on your back and not having any rotation, it's really easy to have the perfect hand placement and pull all the way through your stroke. For this drill, we're doing a normal flutter kick, allowing us to have a stable platform. And as we exit the water, our thumbs will exit out of the water. Our hands will go shoulder width apart over our body and then enter the water with our pinkies just wide of the shoulder width apart. As soon as our hands enter the water, I want our fingertips to go towards the walls and stay there throughout the entire pull. This is the best pull you can get, the most efficient. So I don't really want any S motions or too much movement. As soon as your hand enters the water and pulls down, I want it to be around six to eight inches below the, the surface. This will make you have the perfect pull. Now all we need to do is add rotation. 